Hi friends, today let's dive into the first book and first movie of the Hunger Games series. Foxface is the nickname that Katniss gives to the girl tribute from District 5 who participates in the 74th Hunger Games. Katniss respects her a lot, but she's also quickly intimidated by how smart and cunning Foxface really is. She certainly figured it out, hasn't she? However, unfortunately, Foxface dies due to eating the poisonous nightlock berries. I never even knew she was following me. She's clever. Too clever. But how different would the end of the Hunger Games be had Foxface not died? Could this smart and sly girl actually have won the games? When Foxface dies, Thresh, Kato, Katniss and Peter are the last tributes left in the arena. Kato and Thresh are in one part of the arena, whereas Katniss and Peter are in another near where Foxface was. Due to their proximity, Kato kills Thresh. This leaves him going up against Katniss and Peter alone. At this point, the game makers decide to spice things up and they send in the mutations. Oh, that's great. Uh, can you put that in the middle? Sure. The three finalists find themselves on the cornucopia where they fight. Ultimately, Kato is thrown off the edge of the cornucopia down to the mutations where Katniss finally kills him. Had Foxface not died, Kato would have still killed Thresh. As I said earlier, Kato and Thresh were in a separate part of the arena to the other tributes. It's possible then that Kato would choose to hunt down Foxface or that he would choose to leave her to Katniss and Peter. However, it's unlikely that Katniss and Peter would attack Foxface without her provoking them. Up until this point, we've never really seen Katniss or Peter attack anyone unprovoked. It's definitely possible therefore that the game makers decide to send in the mutations at this point when there's still the four tributes remaining. The Mutts could easily kill Foxface. She wasn't particularly fast or strong, and the only weapon she had was a small knife. However, if the Mutts don't kill Foxface at this point, she actually has quite a lot of luck on her side. If possible, Foxface may have decided to climb up a tree to escape the Mutts, leaving them to Katniss, Peter, and Kato. This fight would likely end in the same way as it does in the original story, with Katniss and Peter overpowering Kato. <laughs> This would leave Foxface alone up against the two tributes from District 12 who would obviously continue to fight as a team because they can go home together. In this scenario, Foxface is very unlikely to win the games. However, had she also climbed up the cornucopia with Kato, Katniss and Peter, Foxface would have had multiple choices in front of her. She could choose to help Kato overpower Katniss and Peter and kill one or both of them. Obviously, this however would leave her then alone up against Kato who she has no chance of overpowering. He is much much bigger and stronger than her, and he has full body armor that covers him from his neck down to his ankles and wrists. As I mentioned earlier, the only thing Foxface has is a small knife, and we don't even know if she knows how to use it properly. However, Foxface could decide to leave Kato to fight Katniss and Peter alone. She may decide to intervene at some point, especially if she sees that either Katniss or Peter are on the edge of the cornucopia and she could easily just push them off. If she were to do this, this would leave Kato with only one opponent to fight, and he is likely to overpower them. If he is able to overpower them, this would leave him going up against Foxface alone. However, in this scenario, Kato has been fighting and is potentially weakened and injured. Foxface therefore does have a slight chance at winning. For example, she could push him off of the cornucopia down to the mutts. Depending on how weakened he is, he may actually just die of his wounds right then and there. This is the only likely scenario in which Foxface could win, is if she goes up against just one tribute who's already injured and weakened. She is unable to fight any of the stronger tributes who are left in the arena. She needs them to be weak. Do you think that Foxface could have actually won the games? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! Thanks so much for watching this video and thank you to my Patreon bubblers for supporting the channel. If you want to see any of my other Hunger Games videos, you can click on the box on the left to find out if Foxface actually killed herself, or you can click on the box on the right to watch a character spotlight all about Foxface. Thanks for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell.